Bond Strengths and Lengths. After you've completed this video, you should be able to explain the difference in strengths behind bonds of different orders, explain the differences in strengths behind bonds of uh, different molecules of different sizes, and then use the expected bond order of a molecule with resonance structures to talk about its bond strengths and lengths. Bond strength is defined by its bond dissociation energy, or phrased a bit differently, or more plainly we could say, how much energy it takes to break the bond. Generally, the shorter the bond is, the stronger it will be, and the stronger the bond, the shorter it will be. This causation can run both directions, which is why I say both. Two ways that this occur, are, which are within the scope of this class, are via the number of electrons causing the bonding to occur um, and the size of the atom. A carbon-carbon single bond is held together by only two electrons. This makes it much longer and weaker than a carbon-carbon bond which is held together by, for instance, four uh, being a double bond or six being a triple bond. The size of the atoms play a role as well. Uh, for example, a CL-CL single bond is much longer and weaker than an FF single bond, uh, just due to the size of the CL being larger than the size of the F. So the potential energy in internuclear distance varies based on the size of the atom as well. Atoms which have a bigger radii will, of course, have a larger internuclear distance. All else being equal, this longer bond length would mean a weaker bond except often the issue of radii will be in contrast to the order of the bond, both of which must be taken into consideration when thinking about the bond strengths and lengths. So in this graph, we see nitrogen with its triple bond being the strongest, which we can see from that deeper potential energy well. Hydrogen and oxygen have very similar bond energies, which you can see from a very similar potential energy well. Um, even though the oxygen has a larger radius. Well, this is because the oxygen is double bonded rather than the single bonded hydrogen. In resonance structures, you want to be sure to account for the bond delocalization of that pi bond. For example, in NO3 minus or nitrate, there's only one pi bond, but it's evenly delocalized across all three bonding pairs. And so each bond order winds up, or each bond winds up having a bond order of four thirds. One from its single bond and then a third due to it sharing the pi bond across all three pairs. This would then have the strength or length expected of a bond which is greater than one, but less than two. Now that you have watched this video, you should be prepared to rank bonds in order of strength based on their order and their molecule size, and know where the resonance structures would be placed in the ranking. You should also be able to use a graph that we give you to do this as well, um, which would be used in cases where, uh, you know, for instance, with the hydrogen and oxygen, where the two are in kind of competing situations, and we would give you the graph and let you compare.